Hi, welcome to Bar Cart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about Last Exit by Max Gladstone. Last Exit is a truly remarkable novel. Uh, my copy arrived a little bit early, and I spent my entire weekend with this book. It is the sort of book that just drew me right in and held me in the palm of its hand. The sort of book that I carried with me while I was doing outdoor tasks. I could not put it down, you know, going out to uh, take out the trash, book is still in hand. And that's really, I think, a testament to uh, Max Gladstone as a writer, someone I've followed for uh, several years, but has really kicked it all the way up into a new level with this book. It is a novel about America, about a creeping sense of unease, and about the power of the open road. It's the story about friendship and adventure, and what happens when friendships fall apart and uh, have to come back together again. It is truly a powerful and thoughtful novel and one that I cannot recommend highly enough. It is a book that I look forward to revisiting in uh, several years to see the ways in which it ages, the ways in which um, it continues to be relevant, because this is the sort of book that I really think is going to be a modern classic. And so, of course, it's a book that we want to make a drink for here. So, without any further ado, why don't we get to this week's drink, Building Spin, in honor of Last Exit by Max Gladstone. So, Building Spin, uh, spin is the sort of magical power that these characters are able to exert. It comes from the sense of uncertainty, of driving down the road and not knowing what's next. Um, this sort of quantum math -um magic um, that we're very fond of here. We like uh, books where the magic is a little bit math and a little bit strange, uh, a little bit eldritch. And so we're going to start with our base spirit. I've got the Blackstrap Rum. We've used it before, both as an accent ingredient and uh, as the, the main spirit. Um, we're going to get one ounce of that in there. So one of the things that I was thinking about with this drink was this uh, pervasive bit of the novel where there are there are cracks in the world that are sort of black and eldritch and uh, a little bit night shadow spooky scary, um, but also the blacktop of the open road uh, that really is a, a through line for the book. It is a book about being out on the road and thinking about those great stretches of highway in, you know, up into northern Minnesota or through the desert uh, from Phoenix to LA or across Nebraska. Those were some that sort of came to mind for me. And so we've got uh, a lot of those really dark sort of blacktop ingredients while still being very inviting. We've got here that dark creme de cacao we make one ounce of that in there. Finally, for our main spirits, got uh, blackberry, sort of the unofficial Barkhart bookshelf flavor of uh, fast cars, one that we used for uh, Lee Mandela's Summer Suns um, when we, we modeled some blackberry last summer. And that's going to bring a bit of fruitiness to the sort of bittersweet chocolate and that molasses um, dark chocolate quality of the rum. So really rich, dark flavors uh, in there. And then to brighten it a little bit and add a touch of bitterness, we've got some orange bitters. I'm using the Regan's orange bitters today uh, because you want something uh, citrusy that's going to lighten just a little bit while adding that touch of balancing bitterness. There's definitely an element of bitterness to this novel, but uh, a bit of golden hope shining through. And we'll get a couple of dashes 
in there. As always, easy to add more, hard to add less. Um, go as the spirit moves you, but two to four dashes is sort of where you want to end up. So now we've got all of our ingredients in our mixing glass. We'll get our ice in there. Get a couple of more cubes. One more. Lovely. And then we'll stir. So, uh, this is just... <laughs> I could not put this book down over the weekend. Um, it's filled with the sort of vivid imagery that we love here, and uh, really a wonderful sense of erudition and care in the characters, in the prose. Um, really the, the full package in terms of um, intellect, action, and emotion. So, good. Good, nice stir. Get our julep strainer there. And our Manhattan glass, and we'll just strain our cocktail. Wonderful. Perfect. Set that aside, and there you have it. You can see uh, very dark here against my black shirt. Hold it out a little bit. This is Building Spin, a stirred cocktail in honor of Max Gladstone's last exit. Last exit is available now. Got a link down below to snag the book from Porter Square Books, uh, Gladstone's local independent bookseller that has signed copies, one of my favorite indie bookstores as well. Got links for the Boston Shaker, where we get all of our tools, bitters, things like that, and to Twitter and Instagram, where there's a written version of this week's recipe. As always, please like, share, subscribe, try the drink, let me know what you think. I always love to hear what people think about uh, the concoctions that we make here. And until next time, cheers.